Hi everyone, today I am with Gabriel, and Gabriel is Gemcaster's uh, prayer partner. If you didn't see that interview, uh, just go see the video previous to this one. But Gabriel, yes, I have no idea about your story, so this is really cool because this is as new for you as it is new for me. Mm -hmm. Because you also, you work with Gem, you're his prayer partner. You guys travel together everywhere, right? Yes. And you also live by faith? By God's grace. Okay, yes. so how did that happen? How did God call you to live by faith and why be Jim's prayer partner? Like, right. I would like to, just curious. It's it's a long story. I'll try to condense it as much as I can, but huh? uh, I've known Jim since 2016. Uh, GYC 2016 in Houston, Texas. My spiritual mother said to go find him in the prayer room. Oh. And so that time when I went to go find him in the prayer room, wasn't for me to go pray, but just to find him specifically. And I believe I came in just as they they were ending. And when I went up to him, say who who I am, who my spiritual mother was, it just we clicked off right then and there. And so mm -hmm. throughout those years, every time I had issues, that's when I would reach out to Jem. But by God's grace, um, in 2020. I went downhill spiritually and I reached out to him by God's grace. And because of that, he invited me to come spend some time with him in Michigan mm -hmm. and 17 days because there was going to be a, a GYC in 2020, but it got canceled. So instead of uh, spending time with GYC and then with him, the whole time was with just, with just him and I. And so over that time frame, it's just our friendship became closer and things completely changed into a complete 180 for me, where my negative mindset became a positive mindset. Wow. And so that's just a, like a little short overview. And then after from Michigan, we flew back to Tennessee to have a week of prayer. And I thought, OK, I'm just going to have to continue my life. I'm not going to see Jem anymore for, until next UIC. But by God's grace, he started working on his heart as well as my heart. And then he, God confirmed that the both of us would be working together. And so we started praying for two months mm -hmm. before we started to actually work together and travel together. We prayed for two months for God to open up those doors. And one thing after another started opening up for us. Wow. So, yeah. Nice. That's just the beginning. So now you're always <laughs> traveling together and doing ministry together. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. And all living by faith and God providing for everything, right? Yes. Cool. Yes. So let's mm -hmm. touch that a little bit because uh, I know that my friends here, many, we have at OCI, for example, that we, we have a, it's the biggest network of ministry, self-supporting ministries in the world. Mm -hmm. And we have such a diverse type of ministries. You have ministries that are, they're all self-supporting. But um, many have their business side so they can get mm -hmm. the needs to cover their, the way they work. And others are also faith-based. And they just uh, live through donations and things like that. And for someone who wants to start a ministry maybe and wants to be a ministry that is faith-based, how do you know that God is calling you to that? Or can uh, just mm -hmm. everyone do that? So. From what I understand, from what I read in the Bible and spirit of prophecy, when God speaks to you and he wants to reveal something to you, he makes it very known. And that's what I love about God is when he calls you to do something, he makes it known to you what it is that you're wanting to do, whether it be going by faith with the ministry or being self-supporting. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's... In Jem's talk that you had with him, he kept referring to knowing God's voice and being familiar with it, spending time with him, because mm. it's like it's it's like a relationship. You know your wife because you spend time with her. Yeah. And but how do you build that relationship with that continual pursual getting to know her, that constant communication? And it's just the same way with God. The more we're in in constant communication with him, the more we're going back and forth with, with him and in our time of devotion or whenever it is that we have a chance to just talk with him, the, the better and the more clearly we can hear his voice. Yeah, everyone just have to have a good relationship with God and hear what is he asking for that ministry. Correct. Hey, Gabriel, 
what ha which one has been one of your maybe your major challenges that you can like share with us and and how how did it how did you overcame it there's one thing that is actually that was a huge uh stumbling block for me in my walk uh right now I, i'm single and jem he's also single and one the biggest thing was for me being single mm -hmm. i looked at him and i'm like Am I going to be like him? Like 20 <laughs> years down the road, am I going to be like him? Just single and just doing whatever God wants me to do. And I was, I was honestly, I was worried. And I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that are worried about the same thing. Will they find their, their match mm -hmm. or match made in heaven? Um, but the more I've started to actually do the ministry, I started to realize that the only important thing for me the only thing that actually gave me satisfaction was doing what God has asked me to do. Mm, wow. And I've, I have this on my phone right now. It's on my wallpaper and it says from the desire of ages, page 57, his greatest happiness will be found in love in me. Mm, yeah. and, and I've noticed like, yes, there are times that I can struggle with either being single or with other things that I struggle with. But I have also seen so much joy in doing what God has asked me to do. Like, Jem has this phrase, like, his cheekbones hurt. When you get a taste of God, you want more of it. And you, mm -hmm. you, want, you want to keep going. You want to have that fulfillment in your heart. Because we all want to be happy, right? Yeah. And honestly, I've never been happier doing what God has asked me to do right here, right now. I've never, I've never had the satisfaction that I've had in the past than right here. Amen. Amen. And I, and I can relate to that because right now today I work in, in, in film production and photography, mm. but before I did this for the world mm. and it was just purposeless. But now that it has a purpose, like serving God, mm. I would never go back. Right. Doesn't matter how much money they offer me or whatever. It's like I would never go back to that. Like, <laughs> the purpose that you feel like that God is doing something with you is just amazing. Right. So, Gabriel, before we close, mm -hmm. what would you tell to them if they want to start a ministry and they're thinking that God is calling them to do a faith based ministry? Mm -hmm. What would you what would you advise to them? Don't hold back. Just go all out. Because the more I held back, the more my fear grew bigger and bigger, the more the enemy took a hold of that. But when God has called you clearly, just go for it. Don't worry about anything else. Don't look at anything else. Just place one foot in front of the, another. And it's going to be hard. It's, it might be challenging. It might, it's definitely going to be growing. But years later, or even just a few months later, you're going to be looking back and you're going to be like, thank you, Lord, for helping me with this. Thank you. And so, yeah, don't don't hold back. When God gives you the go signal, one step forward. That's all it takes. Amen. Would you like to pray for them? Yes. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I just want to thank you, Lord, that we are able to come together and to just have a little... Uh, reminiscence about what you what you have done in our lives. And Lord, I just pray that the people that are on the other side that are listening, I pray that you may continue to grow their faith. May they realize that there is a God out there that is listening to them. And I just thank you, Father, that you're very specific in wanting to show us a better life. And so I thank you, Father, for always going after us and always pursuing after us. By your grace and by the Holy Spirit, may we give in to your loving kindness. May we give in to what you want us to do. And may your name be glorified by the things you have asked us to do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Gabriel. Friends, if you want to contact Gabriel or Jem, links are going to be in the description below. At OCI, we're all about helping ministries thrive. So remember, if you want to start a ministry or already have one and you want to make it grow, contact us. And links are going to be in the description below as well. Friends, subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any video and like the video, share it with others so they can be blessed. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.